Commercial flights are still crisscrossing the skies above the Malay Peninsula, but four days into this mystery, on the seas below, the search area has been widened significantly, and yet nothing's been found. There is some progress, though, even if it rules lines out rather than in. These are the two men travelling on stolen passports. One is a 19-year-old Iranian. Profile checks suggest he has no connections with terrorism. They think he was trying to claim asylum in Europe. We are in contact with his mother. Okay? His mother is expecting him to arrive in Frankfurt. When he doesn't arrive, he contacted us here. And uh, then, then that's why we knew that uh, he's the one. There are essentially two strands to this investigation. At sea, the search. The area they're looking at has now been widened well beyond the plane's flight path. They're looking over land too and investigating suggestions that two eyewitnesses may have seen something, one reporting a bright light descending at speed and another a fisherman who says he saw a plane at low altitude. The second strand is the intelligence operation. The passenger manifest is being combed. The profile of each passenger has been looked at for any clues. Four lines of inquiry remain, say the investigators. We are looking into four areas. One is hijacking, two, sabotage, three, psychological problem of the passengers and crew, and four, personal problem among the passengers and crew. Malaysia Airlines have confirmed that the 12-year-old Boeing 777 was serviced 12 days before the flight. Experts from Boeing in America are at the heart of their investigation. The emotion for the families must be unimaginable. More have now arrived in Malaysia, but only to wait. Naturally, none will give up hope until they hear something. If there were people who hijacked the plane, how are they going to deal with this situation? I think this is what everybody, what all the relatives have in mind. Of course, I know they are doing the best to search for the plane, and we are grateful for the efforts. In the US, this is the girlfriend of one of the passengers, Philip Wood. Until there's proof, if Philip is dead, I refuse to believe it. Of anybody that could survive something like this, it's him. I mean, he's such a fighter, and he has so much to, to live for. With nothing concrete at all, rumours and speculation continue. The authorities have even been forced to insist they're not hiding anything. They are, they say, doing everything they can. Mark Stone, Sky News, in Kuala Lumpur.